Morning YouTube, uh, welcome to my channel, Jersey Digs. Uh, I've had it made for a while, never really got around to posting anything. Um, it's not that I haven't found anything, but i um, just been lazy on the recording. Also, I uh, don't want to invest in a GoPro and the whole chest strap thing quite yet, so today I'm going to record one on my phone because I got a few good ones ahead of me. Uh, in front of you here in this foggy field, uh, is a school we've been hunting for the better part of the year. It's pulled out some silver, some gold, some jewelry, um, more clad than you could imagine. And um, we've cleaned it out pretty well, but it seems uh, every time we come here, we tend to pull out another silver or two, at least a handful of Wheaties and some at least fake jewelry or junk jewelry, as we call it here. Um, the other place I plan on going to today is a farm up the road. It dates back to the late 1700s. Um, kind of really just starting to get into it. I got onto it through one of the neighbors. Um, they were telling me it was no issue, so I was, you know, kind of hitting the corners of it, you know, because I didn't, uh, really know how comfortable I was going on, you know, without permission. Um, met the guy yesterday. And uh, he said, pretty much, we have free roam to go. So uh, I'm going to meet up with my buddy Tom, um, a.k.a. Pull Tab Thomas. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So I'll catch you on the first dig. And thanks for watching. Wanted to add this as well before I get out of my car. That's the sunrise. Yeah, it's real early over here. But uh, check that baby out. It is so foggy out. Going to freaking get haunted out there today. Anyway, all right, I'm good. Uh, here we got a signal. Uh, excuse me if uh, this is terrible, but ringing up, what am I getting here? Eh, 30, we'll, we'll call it a 30. Uh, if I were a gambling man, I'd say it's a nickel, maybe just a hunk of aluminum. It's definitely its fair share of that here. So I'm going to give it a dig and I'll be right back. All right, we got her out and my suspicions were correct. It was a nickel. Look at it, 1975. Booyah. All right, got another one here. Oh, let me zoom out here. Again, rookie mistake. So, uh, what do we got? Very hard to record your VDI and hold hold it all together. It's a struggle bus here. Um, maybe I'll invest in that GoPro sooner than later. Um, but yeah, reading all over the place, but I don't know. These have surprised me. I'm going to guess a hunk of aluminum, but we'll give it a go. Little poo to start off my morning. All right. This one's uh, a little sniffy, ringing up low, high, regular dime VDI um, at the depth that I usually like for finding some silvers here, so let's give it a rip. Just a clad dime. Uh, 1967 though, so uh, getting in the right direction here. I'm going to go over this way. I've We pulled a whole bunch of silver all over this side of the field. Starting to find a good patch here by these benches. Um, pulled out a handful of mercs the other day. So uh, I'm going to give this a rip and uh, see what happens. Got another good candidate here. Barely picking it up, but it looks like we're at, we're all over the place. This can end up being like a weedy or something, but big, uh, big possibility of silver. Right, here we are. I think my suspicions are going to be correct that it, it's probably going to be a weedy. Let's see. We got Mr. Lincoln. Uh, it's 1961, it looks. So no wheat, but we're getting closer on the dates here. Let's keep at it. There's the lad. Just wandering through the fog. Like Jason. Uh, he's hiding behind the tree. Uh, there he is. Anyway, that's pull time, Thomas. He'll be over in a minute. All right, this one uh, sounded like poo-poo before I opened it up. Sounds half decent. Where's the VDI? Man, I suck at this. Uh, Reading right in the 90s for the most part. Gonna give it a sniff. Uh, there's Pull Tab. Say hi, Pull Tab. Uh, he rocks the legend. And uh, yeah, we're gonna dig some holes. Booyah. Uh, I don't even know. Uh, hunk of crap. Uh, Tom just got a penny, he said. Uh, ringing up a faint 90s, um, but it's at the depths that I typically look for, 
So uh, I'm gonna give it a go here and hopefully I find the gold to bloom. Hope that I'll get a little bit better of a VDI. Um, bring it up mid 90s, which is pretty high. So it might end up being a hunk of junk or iron or something, but we'll try it. Close but no dice, got a 1967. Well, uh, on to the next one. All right, you jabronis, got another one here. Uh, banging at a, not really banging at anything. It's a, it's a high tone. So there's probably a coin somewhere under there. So I guess I'll dig it out. And the silver guns, silver gods. Uh, I say it a lot, uh, if you don't like it, don't watch my videos. Uh, got a 1965, uh, so we're almost there. We're gonna keep trying. Uh, pull tab center field. Um, playing football out there, and uh, he's he, he did a trick. All right, uh, so pull tab Thomas here has a potential sniffy hole. He said it smells pretty good. Uh, VDI ringing here on the legend is a 46, which what uh, what would that be, uh, pull tab? It's low for a dime, high for a penny. All right. So in a second, we're going to mess up that patch of grass. All right, bye. I'm going to do a semi-live dig on this bad boy. Uh, nice plug there. Plug game is uh, strong today, Pull Tab. Uh, he's feeling pretty confident about it. So all right, he, he shaved it off. And now he's, he's going to poke it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, all right no uh he, he, we we miss sniffed uh it happens a lot here so hope you guys like seeing coins that are clad come out of the ground what year you got 88 88 Ooh, well, we we're way off on that one um anyway we'll keep at it beautiful sunrise looks like the apocalypse out here still but the fog's lighting it up um, we're gonna do center field. We were kind of like digging that around. Um, also, any other detector or setter, we're trying to get an idea of where we are. Uh, you will never find us because we're never gonna give away our locations, but you might know where we are. If you do come, good luck. We've hammered this place beyond belief. We probably dug out like, what would you guess? 2,000, 3,000 plugs here? A week, yeah, weekly, so you can try, but you won't succeed. All right, we're center field here. Uh, got a little something, something. I don't think it's gonna be much, but possibly a dime. I'm really leaning toward a penny, but it's not the depth that we typically look for. Um, I think a penny would ring a little higher, but we'll give it a go, see what happens. See when it open. You can see it right there on the edge of the plug, looking to be a Penny, I don't even think it's a weeder. Let's pull this one out together. Where's my hands? There we go. Yeah, yeah, it's cold. I'm not wearing gloves. I'm just, just raw dog in life. Uh, is it a weeder? I don't think though. I think I saw a six on there. Eh, focus. Uh, 60. Eh, 60 something. It's unimportant. Doesn't matter. It's a penny. Uh, see you on the next day. Y'all smell that? Uh, I'm not kidding. Uh, got a deep 90s for the most part. A little bit of a dip to a 70, which is slight concerning, but but a high potential here. High? Where is it? There we go. Really hard to swing and record simultaneously, but I'm giving it my best shot just to make you people happy. Let's give it a go. Womp. We got a dank jigger in the ground. Uh, it's ringing up 58, 59, slightly lower than a, a, a modern penny. I'll give it a try. Uh, pull tab over there said he's got himself a sniff, so I'm gonna try to get both in the same uh, recording here. Uh, adios. Have the holy grail of all pull tabs. I've never seen one of these bad boys before. Uh, and it's gone. No, I'm kidding. Man, it really is gone. Well, I'll pick it up in a second, wherever it went. Uh, Thomas had just a modern dime, so he he's off on the sniff. I don't know what's really going on. Uh, we're going to rock out of here for a little while longer. Sun's starting to come up, fox dissipating. And uh, that's really it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's kind of like a fog rainbow right there. You see that? 
there's a fog rainbow, and uh, I think that's a good sign. I think that's a really good sign. I'm gonna go right under it and uh, see what comes out. All right, we have a potential zinger here. Um, four bars, which is deep. Kind of just banging on that 94 for the most part. Um, I don't know, I've been bamboozled by a few of these today. This might end up just being like a weedy or something. Uh, but I'll give it a go, it sounds nice. I'll open it up, see what it sounds like. Well, the Silver Gods have gotten me again. 1965 quarter. Almost, almost. Oh, see you on the next. All right, now I'm recorded. Got a nice live action shot of Pull Tap Thomas going for it. Uh, he's saying potential dime territory. Big old stanky plug. Um, it's still buzzing down there, and that's pretty deep, you know. Let's say about six, seven inches out already. Uh, we'll come back when we find it. Uh, you got a sixty-eight penny. Yippee! Another one. Uh, it sounds kind of poopy. Uh, I'm gonna guess a penny of some sort, but it shows it's it's really deep. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one a shot. We'll be back uh, when I open it up. And here's what I found. Nothing. Uh, I don't know what happened. The signal just disappeared. On to the next. Got another one. I don't know what's going on with my detector. Uh, seems like something's going on. This might be one of those disappearing acts again. But it says super deep coin tone. You know, dime quarters. VDI is running very high. Uh, if any of the 12 people that'll probably watch this video catch that and watch it to this point. But uh, we'll pull it out, see what happens. Uh, Penny, 1968, so we're pretty close. You know, I'm betting one of these will come out uh, nice and shiny soon. Uh, if you're wondering why is this guy only digging coins, well, you guessed it. I'm definitely cherry picking a little bit. Uh, I'll save another day here for the low tones because there's a whole bunch of them and we're still working to get through them. But, uh, you know, we typically just go for deep coin tones. The school itself was built in, uh, what was it built in, 63 pull tab? Yeah, 63, but we've definitely found older here. Um, there used to be, uh, by those big trees over there, there used to be a farmhouse and definitely pulled up a fair share of uh, relics over there uh, along with a uh, three ring bullet, which would trace back to, uh, you might know better than me, but 1850s or so. Um, we're going to keep at it for a little more, and then we uh, probably start making moves over to the farm. Uh, the farm's going to be a cool spot. Few and far between signals, so we'll definitely be a little less selective. Um, I pulled a real there, along with some Indian heads and large scents. So hopefully something else good comes out today. All right, back to it. All right, we're back. Been a little while since the last thing I dug. Uh, picked up a few low tones. Uh, nothing special. I'm sure the moment's gonna come where I dig a low tone and it's gonna be a big old stankin' ring. And I'm not gonna record it and I'm gonna show it on here and you guys are gonna cancel me or whatever we do these days. But, uh, back to this thing. Uh, it's coin toned and deep, so we'll give it a go. My VDI's been tricky today. I don't know if it's because of the cold or it's wet, but pennies that are deep they've been ringing up stupid high so i'm not too optimistic here see what happens uh i don't know i can't focus but 62 penny womp womp 